So today is officially the autumn equinox, or like the first day of fall, and uh, it's like 26 degrees outside. And for those of you who don't know Celsius, that's just really hot. The fact that we're having summer weather now in the fall when I want my nice sweater weather is very upsetting to me. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. Probably because I haven't. I've left the Goodreads group linked below if you want to check out topics and also become involved in Top 5 Wednesday. Today's topic is books that you've read because of hearing about them on booktube or somewhere on the internet. There's, there's like books that you've read because you heard a lot of hype about them in the book community. I'm the type of person that does like to ride the hype train because I like to be in on the conversation and know what people are talking about. So there's probably quite a few books that I've done that for. I picked five books that I probably wouldn't have read unless I'd heard about them a lot over booktube. Some of them I probably would have read but like I would have taken longer to read them. Number five is Illuminate by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. Now this is one of those ones that I probably would have gotten around to reading at some point, maybe, but it was such a weird and different book that didn't really seem like my style, but I heard a lot of booktubers saying that they didn't think it would be their style either, but then they ended up loving it. So I, just because there was so much hype about it, I decided to pick it up and I really did like it. I still haven't read the sequel. Like I read the first one and then in between that time and when the sequel came out, I just kind of lost interest. I don't know if I will read the sequel. Probably I will at some point, I don't know. But it was a really interesting and different book and I probably wouldn't have picked it up as soon if I hadn't been watching a lot of booktube videos. Number four is Princess of Thorns by Stacey J. I was once watching a booktuber talk about their favorite underrated books and this book was on their list and I'd never heard of it before, but the premise sounded really interesting to me. And then within a couple weeks I was at this bookstore, it was kind of more like a book outlet type thing, um, where they have a lot of books that aren't normally sold in bookstores or whatever. And this happened to be on the shelf and it was for like pretty cheap. And I just thought it was so funny that I just heard about this book and then found it in a store somewhere. So I definitely I picked it up as soon as I saw it because I was like, well I have to read it now. It's like a sign. And I actually really really enjoyed it. It's kind of a take on Sleeping Beauty but not really. It's like very, very loosely based on that story and kind of like just takes off from there. It's like magical fantasy fairy tale type stuff, um, which I love. <laughs> it's a really underrated book, so I think more people should read this. And I'm glad that I did see it on a booktube channel else I never would have read it. Number three is the Grisha Trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Now I probably would have gotten around to reading these eventually because it was such a big series when it came out. And usually when I see big YA series like this, I will pick them up eventually. But it probably would have taken me a while because I wasn't really sure what it was about and I was like, I know a lot of people like it, maybe I'll read it later, but then like I saw a bunch of booktubers and one of my friends was like super super into this book and they were like all telling me to read it. But then once I heard what the premise was about, I was like way more interested and decided to finally pick it up. I really love this series and it actually introduced me to one of my now new favorite authors, which is Lee Bardugo. I love her writing. I will say that I like the Six of Crows series better than this series, and of course people always compare them even though they're two different things, but it's because it's like a spin-off. Well, I don't know if it's one that I wouldn't have read without booktube, but it's one that I would have taken a while to read if it hadn't been for booktube. That would have been really sad because this is a great series. Number two is a book that I just read and it's uprooted by Naomi Novik. This is a book that I hadn't even heard of before I heard a couple of YouTubers talking about it. I think it's a pretty well-known fantasy book, but I just didn't know anything about it because I don't know much about adult fantasy. Like I'm more, I'm more up on the YA stuff. Like I know what's going on there, but like I'm, I'm less in the know on the adult stuff, which is I should really get into more because now I am an adult. Anyway, I heard a lot of talk about this book, and I was like, oh, maybe I should read that sometime. And I saw it in the bookstore. I never really bought it. I thought, well, just I'll, I'll get it sometime. But then my library, the library that I work at, got it in, and I saw it on the shelf, and I was like. All right, cool, I guess I'm gonna read it now because it's right here. So I just read it like recently. It was like one of the last books that I read and it's so good. It's magical, it has darker elements to it. The characters are great. Again, without booktube, probably wouldn't have picked this up. Probably wouldn't have read it. I mean, I might have read it, but like I didn't know that it existed, I guess. If I was more up on adult fantasy, then I would probably have known about it, but I'm not, so. But it's really great and I recommend it to everybody. And my number one book is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss and the whole King Killer Chronicle series that's out right now. Again, I don't know a lot about adult fantasy. I'm not really following it that closely because I don't read a lot of adult fantasy yet. I'm trying to get into it more. And that's kind of how this started. I wanted to start reading adult fantasy, but I didn't know where to start because I was a little bit intimidated, like most people are. But a lot of booktubers recommended this book as kind of a gateway into adult fantasy because it's pretty easy to read and it's really interesting and all that stuff. And I think my first time hearing about the series was through a booktuber. And then again, the library had it, so I thought I might as well just read it. And I loved it. It's such a good series. Again, it's one of those ones that I probably would know about if I followed adult fantasy, you know, more closely, or I probably would have heard about it eventually, but like, like, booktube is really what introduced me to the series and kind of what got me to read it in the first place and I'm very grateful for that because I love it. <laughs> I've talked about it many times, I've done reviews for both of the books that I've read so far and I'm just very excited for the third one to come out. So those are all of my books for this topic. So let me know down in the comments which books you've gotten into because of booktube or even if it's not booktube because of book communities on Instagram or Tumblr or anywhere else online. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!